<laughs> Shit lanes are my favorite. <laughs> There we go. How you doing, oil filled trash? How's everybody? This stuff is good, man. So, ironically, my wife cooked me a nice little meal here with some uh, steak, some uh, corn, and potatoes. Right before I did my stream. So I'm actually gonna be enjoying a nice meal while we talk about meals. Yeah, it's good. And uh the reason why I want to bring this up, uh, I'll kinda of wanna do things outside of uh just police work, you know, legal actions and stuff like that. And um try and actually have a discussion about this um food topic. Basically, I've had some people who say uh you know, it's kind of unethical for individuals to eat meat. Uh, yeah, I hear that mainly from uh, the vegan side. I have no problem with it. You know, uh, anybody who's vegan, you're vegan. Do you? Do you, boo boo? I'm gonna enjoy meat. Get that stream yard there for anybody who wants to come in here and discuss. How you doing, Hawkwind? It has been a long time, my friend. Uh, <laughs> how you doing, Paul Jackson? <laughs> uh, open discussion about castration. You know, um, we have a thing called mountain oysters, <laughs> and they're not oysters. <laughs> so, the main thing here is uh, I'm enjoying me some nice food, guys. This food is good. Got me some A1 sauce. Oh, man. How do you guys feel about, you know, what's uh, considered appropriate food in the U.S. or anywhere else in general? Because I've been thinking about it. <laughs> How you doing, Tex Bud? I've been thinking about it, and I think some of my friends even agree with me. I think we all limit our resources in certain uh, areas, you know? We're effectively you're limiting our resources by not eating certain uh, foods. <laughs> Let me check the stream yard. Oh, this is nice. This is real good. Exactly. Where do we draw the line, guys? Where do we draw the lines for, uh, you know, what we consider food? Um, some people I know eat possum. Um, some eat beavers. Some people eat other people. <laughs> I agree, Tex, bud. Now, one thing my wife hates that I do is uh, there's some foods I just don't like, right? I don't like them, but I eat it anyway. And it's just me growing up in the household that I grew up in. If uh, my mom or dad put something on the plate, you eat it, whether you like it or not, as long as you're not allergic to it, you know? I don't have any allergies. There are certain foods I don't like. Her mom cooks it for me and uh, finds out, oh, you don't like it? Yeah, I don't like that type of food, but I'm going to eat it anyway. You know, Hawkwind, I think I, I read that a while back. Now, this steak is bomb, man. My wife did it up. Mm -mm. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you know, it's funny, um, Paul, that we bring that up. Um, how you doing, The Watchman? <laughs> you once saw a man eat a chicken? You can see some things like some crazy stuff. I'm going to share this uh, this video here with you guys. This is the Kawari tribe. I believe it's the Kawari tribe. But for those of uh, y'all who don't know, I'm going to show you guys. This reporter, he went to a, a cannibal uh, tribe. And uh, I was surprised that he even went, to be honest, because I would not go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to do a test here for you guys. Tell me if y'all hear the sound. Did y'all hear, hear the sound? Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> All right, you heard sound? Cool. So here's a reporter right here. All right, right here, I'm sorry. And this is a Kawari tribe. I believe it's a Kawari tribe. I have to go ahead and listen to it. But he's out here visiting their tribe. And I believe they don't they don't kill anybody. All right, they usually eat the, the ones who passed away. Or if you've committed like a crime against them, uh, then they they take your flesh. <laughs> you still to eat that? That's one of their ways to <laughs> practice agor kriya. I I came here to. Um, Ask you some questions. Um, um, maybe later. Maybe a little bit later. He says, the god from Karmashan, Lord Shiva, he gives them something to eat in form of rotten bones or some kind of human flesh. Thanks. Okay. Alright. Okay. Maybe I, I'll take this off right now and then okay. just thank you. Uh, okay. Could you thank picture how scared this man was at this point in time? To just like make sure he doesn't offend him. Of the river so afraid of the Agori. I see. Um, why, why do you... Why do you think that this may have been a mistake? Maybe we just like somebody distracts him and then I just leave. <laughs> That's where it goes. I can be polite. I can be very polite about that. I think you should say. Now he says that skull that's empty, that's hungry. He wants you to feed that. He wants you to make some donation to that. What, what would you like me to? Ah. He says he wants that skull to be filled with alcohol. Okay, actually, I think it's in the boat. So, <laughs> Thanks, racist. What? What? Hey. Oh, no, what's going on? <laughs> he says well, he wants you to sit down. He wants me to go and bring it for him. <laughs> hey you know what if if anyone joins the discussion like always as you know I'll, I'll be willing to hear you out there you go you are, are all welcome to join if you want to 
खाली नहीं पीते तो मुंह में तो लगा के देख लो बस My dude, I had the same face. Ah. Will he tell me now what, what I have to do? Yeah, I'm out. Okay. Okay, can you take it? So, one minute. So now he's being ah. not polite with me, okay. and he knows. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got out of hand real fast, and uh, pretty sure that that's not the agori that I was looking for. <laughs> So there are cannibal tribes, and uh, but I just found that <laughs> that thing is so hilarious. Oh man, let me turn that on. All right. Mm. Yeah. So I've been looking at a lot of uh, discussions from uh, what's his name? Uh, who is it? Joey Carbstrong. Is that his name? Yeah, Joey Carpstrong. And he did this thing uh, where it had me uh, laughing so hard. It had me laughing so hard uh, because it does show the hypocrisy and, uh, you know, people who eat meat. You know, but, you know, but I think he would be very disappointed if I came there because I really wouldn't care. Um. Let me see if I can pull it up here. I'm going to share that one. Oh, man. Where is it? Dude, it was too funny. Where is it at? I think this is it. Here we go. This is Joey Carpstrong. And again, like, I don't have any issue with anybody's uh, personal choices in living. You know, if you want to be vegan, no, no, be vegan. If you want to try to convince people to be vegan, be uh, vegan, you know? Yeah, this is... Go for it. Do you eat dogs? You know? No. Um, Do you, are, you, are you one of them extreme vegans? Don't, don't care <laughs> what choices you choose. Are you vegan? Uh, no, no. I just, but um, um, I find this thing this hilarious. Is, this, this is raised the same way. It's a German Shepherd, this one. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I'm not Chinese. <laughs> It's, some other people eat it too, right? You eat cows the same as dogs. But that's, I don't think it's right because uh, we use it as pets here, right? Sorry? We use it as pets here. Pets. Yeah, but we eat them as well. We who? Yeah, they're, they're the same animal, so I have a cow I have a cow as a pet at home, so I don't eat cows. No, I don't think you have a cow. No? That's very rare. No? It's British. No. It's British. <laughs> Humanely farmed. What will we do with all the dogs if we don't eat them? No, that's, that's actually a dog. Yeah, we have a... Uh, it's, like it's RSPCA approved. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, we got humane farms. Like, the same how you I eat... Do you eat cows and pigs? I here. I didn't know it's... Um, this is... um. This is German Shepherd steak. <laughs> oh, my God. And this is Labrador. But it looks... Look. But what will we do with all the dogs if we don't eat them? I know, but it's a bit... No, you, you just don't do things. <laughs> Are you a vegan? No. Ah, a, a vegetarian? No. You don't eat meat? I do. What then what's the matter with this? How you doing, Hulk Wynn? 
because she might be right. No, that's good. That's good. I do have a a clip on here that I want to show you guys. And I think it's coming up right about yeah, right about here. So as y'all can see, the, the concept is he uh, take he takes vegetarian patties and uh, he put a little sticker on it with a dog and says, no, this is dog meat, right? This is Labrador. Here's Boxer. Here's Golden Retriever. These people are so offended. Oh, my God. How could you sell dog meat? You know, at first you think it's, <laughs> <laughs> you know, at first you think it's like, you know, dog food. No, he's like, no, this is dog meat. Like we made, we we capture these dogs right off the street, hook them up, put them in a package, and and ship them out. You know, so he's sitting here doing this, and he's just doing this to show hypocrisy on you know the you know pretty much anybody who eats meat or doesn't eat meat. And I see an ad's about to come up, so let me let that ad run through. Put on mute. But um, I just want to show you exactly this one lady who shows up with her kids. And, um, you know, her, her reaction probably would have been my reaction here. It's for humans. Yeah, this is made out so of just dogs. Just having this debate already, it's all for humans. <laughs> it's it's you can take one home if you want. It's nice. What, is that a Labrador? And how much are you charging for that? No, three samples. This is made of Labrador meat. Yeah, what is the What's same one? A dog. A dog. Get an dog. It's a dog. This is dog flesh. They kill dogs in a slaughterhouse and feed them to people. Really? Yeah. But it's humanely slaughtered, so it's okay. It looks like, like that wow. This is exactly how they uh, feed cows to people, so we're just doing it with dogs. No Because if we don't eat the dogs, they're going to take over the world. Yeah. There's too many dogs around. I told you I don't know. Wow. They're free range as well. They're free? They're made of doggies. Yeah, you can take one. I don't really want to try and well, try it. I will. This reminds me of that video I saw of a guy eating raw squirrels in, in a square. Oh, oh okay. I'm going to mute it so I can hear you better. I'm bringing you some burgers. So like, she's like, oh, wow, dog meat? And she takes it and leaves with it. <laughs> She takes a package and leaves with it. Like, I'm gonna try this dog meat, dude. Oh my god! What were you saying, Hawkwin? There was a video that came out of England, and there was a guy, there was a group of people going around with raw squirrel that were eating raw squirrel in the middle of a square. Mm -hmm. and this is what that reminds me of. <laughs> I, I think I know what you're talking about. There's, because I, I think there's extreme uh, extremists on. On any group that there is, there's always an extremist. Um, you know, uh, people who support politics, uh, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, there's going to be extremists on the other side. Uh, people who are vegan, oh, and yeah. people who are meat eaters, there's always going to be extremists on each side. Um, you know, fracking and non fracking, extremists on each side. Um, so I just find it funny that he's found something that I find comical. And granted, you know, uh, I've had discussions with many people who are vegan and I never go on ahead and just like outright, you know, try and be rude to them. Like, oh, well, I'm gonna go buy a turkey leg and eat it in front of you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I find that like just going out to just antagonize. Right. But oh, this yeah. is this I find it hilarious just to like point out how many people are, are freaking out. Oh, my God. What? You put dog in there. Oh, I'm disgusted. Uh, and he ended up telling this lady here in this this uh, yellow attire here, uh, you know, she was so offended at first and she was ready to like, you know, just be extremely pissed off. And then he, she told her it's a uh, veggie it's veggie patties, right? It's all vegan, <laughs> you know? And, you know, now she's just playing along. Oh yeah. You know, it's good for your, you know, it's good for your dogs. You know, it's dog food, you know, duh, duh, it's dog meat. <laughs> and, uh, but at first she was just so livid, so pissed off, but I just found this, Whole situation funny. Um, another thing that they uh, shown. I'm gonna go ahead and put this and make sure that's not you. There we go. No, no. Uh, one of the things that he's shown on his channel was this lady who goes by uh, 
V A S M R, right? Yeah. And uh, she is, I believe she's Korean. I believe she's Korean. I'm not sure. Maybe Vietnamese. I don't know. Um, but uh, she eats a lot of exotic foods, including dog, cat, you know. And she does this on her YouTube channel. And um, people are highly like, oh, my God, I can't believe people, you know, this is allowed on YouTube or this and this. And I was like, well, you know, to me, the way I see it is, you know, food is food. And in certain countries, you know, my dog is considered food. Yep. I mean, like, if my dog died today, would I eat it? I mean, like, if it was legal, probably. <laughs> if it was legal here in the U.S., I'd do it. And like, hey, man, sorry you're gone. But it's hey, time I'm to get fed. I'm in East Texas. We got butchers all over the place. <laughs> mm -hmm. That will slaughter an animal for you as long as you got the money to put it in a wrapper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've seen um, who was it? Um, one of my friends. He uh, gave me bear bear meat, and when I tell you that bear meat was like, it, it's very different. It's like a kind of sweet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, a, like we made jokes about it. It was like <laughs> we made jokes about it. Like. Um, Oh, that's a uh, bear eating berries in the woods, you know? I was like, it probably really was because that thing tasted kind of sweet, dude. President 46 says, please don't get it all. <laughs> uh, well, I got to go ahead and remove Gizmo and Milo from the house, I guess. You know? Yeah, I know. Again, they're watching that poor guy. I think he's kind of <laughs> wag wigged out. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what he's talking about, but if he wants to join in, he's free to join. Free to have a discussion, you know. As you know, I'm not going to back down from any conversation. You know, I don't know what these claims are. He says someone's kind of racist. I don't know who he's talking about, but. Well, see, I mean, I've had rattlesnake, which it's different. Mm. I'll give you that. It's kind of yeah, weird. it's it definitely good crazy. though. It was good. It just has a really interesting texture to it. Yeah. Um, I've had bison, which is. Really, really good. It's kind have of. You, have you had kangaroo yet? Ready. No, I have not. I want to. I've had shark, which that was kind of cool too. Different. Yeah, I'm not a fan of seafood, but I did want to try shark. I did want to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I do want to try that. It's it's a real good meat. It has it doesn't have it has has very little, has no fat to it. You no, know, what whatsoever has no fat, and so it's really lean. And then when you eat it, you swear it's like a fish steak. It just doesn't have that fish taste to it, because it's solid pink muscle. It's real good. It's a little bit expensive though. I will I will tell you that it is kind of expensive to to eat it though, if you have prepared at a restaurant or or whether or whether you buy it at a seafood. Uh, we buy the seafood um, seafood market is a little bit is kind of pricey, but it is worth it. Hey, President Forty Six, if you want to join the chat, man, you can. I see you're like asking a lot of questions. I, I kind of want to go ahead and hear your your point of view. Oh yeah, man! Please jump in. Let Let me turn this down. I don't know if you can hear the TV behind me or not. I can't. I can't hear it. It's very like faint. Well, I have I picked up a microphone and here ear, an ear set, so it okay. cuts down a lot of the background noise. Nice. But you know, I mean, there's. I don't have a problem with mo what most people eat. You know, I mean, well, I was in the Boy Scouts, so the Boy Scouts they make you try stuff. They do. I mean, mm -hmm. I've tried ants. Um, we've had we've eaten beetles, snakes. I mean, no, I've had a uh, had scorpion. I've tried that. Uh, that it, I couldn't get past the taste. 
I won't lie. <laughs> I could not get past the taste. Like, I think the main part was like the crunch. <laughs> and then like the little like nutty, you know, kind of like a little like nutty taste, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a rotten, like a rotten pecan type of taste. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, if you got to survive, you got to survive. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, although like I said, like I tried it and now it's done. So you know, I, I kind of want to show you guys this uh, VASMR, but I'm pretty sure I'll get demonetized right away. And this will go from like a family friendly to uh, not so family friendly. Yeah. Oh man, she You're is like a lot of people. she is like extreme, dude. Like, have you not have you not seen this at all? Oh no, I have. I've heard of her. There's a lot of it, a lot of those channels. Um, there's a survivor called Bob. He lives down in South Texas, and he does a whole lot of that kind of same stuff: rattlesnakes, uh, insects living off of uh, plants. Uh, what was that? Some kind of lettuce that grows in the swamps down there. It's kind of like it's it lives on the surface, but you can scoop a whole a whole lot of it. it. Tastes like burnt lettuce. It's so he he does a lot of the same thing. Now he has not had dog and cat. I will say that he has not had dog and cat. No, he has he, things I question. I did have a. Uh... Who was it? It was one of my friends in uh in New York. They had like a little little farm. It was some sheep, and they they eat all the sheep, right? And everything, and uh, they made like uh, some tacos out of like sheep brain. And I thought it'd be bad. I thought it would be like horrible, but that shit's good. That shit's fucking good, like. I was like, man, sheep brain? That's fucking fire. Like, guys, if y'all get a chance, I know it sounds gross. And I know it sounds like a little bit intimidating at first. But just go for it. Just just, just try it. If, see, if you're into about, that. But we see you talking about eating that. I keep getting that visual from uh, that movie Hannibal. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that same visual where he, where he pops off right of the other skull cap and just starts cooking him up, cooking up parts of his brain while he's eating it, while the guy's yeah. sitting there talking to him. Oh, man, check out this this <laughs> channel, man. She is, she is a nut, man. She's crazy, dude. And such big portions of that, man. Like... Dog foot. She's eating dog feet, my dude. <laughs> well, now let's think of it this way: there are countries that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying. I was like, dude, like straight up, like this will get me demonetized if I play it. But I'm pretty sure it's it's fine. I should like put it on for you guys and mute. Yeah, well, I mean, that. That, I mean, if it came down to it. People would do that just to, just to survive. It would not be a matter of, oh, that's Fifi. Nope. That's supper. Mm hmm. What's one is it? What's she cooking up here? These are uh, the dog feet, dude. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but honestly, like, people get offended by it. Some people freak out. And to me, it's like, this is what you're, you either grew up with or you're used to eating. You might not have other options. A lot of people were giving a lot of shit about the uh, Wuhan virus. Uh, you know, the coronavirus starting because of Wuhan. And I was like, you know, have you not seen their markets? Like, do you not see any supermarkets? And I also say, like, you know, there's really no ethical way of, like, eating any type of food, unless if you grow your own food in your backyard. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, I used to... I, I had a farm. People people sit there, they take it for granted going down to get that chicken out of that, out of that, um, out of that fridge. 
when you've had to process that chicken, that's when you get kind of squeamish. Well, my mother, she used to process uh, her own chickens. Uh, my my uh, grandmother made her. Um, sounds like the sound's on. Hold on. Let me make sure that's off. Yeah, turn that off. We don't need, need to hear all that. But um, my grandmother made a, made my mother pick out a chicken of her own and raise it as a little chick and name it. And she was like, oh, I'm calling him Little Chicken, Little Chicken. And by the time the chicken got older, she said, hey, bring Little Chicken over here. And my grandmother ripped off the head of the chicken, threw the carcass to, the, to my mother, said, all right, go pluck the feathers. And she didn't have no idea. And they ate the chicken that night. But, hey, I guess I just grew up in a different era. My yeah, we had that. We had something like that happen similar. My um, we used to have sliding uh, entrance doors to our chicken coop, and my stepdaughter forgot to tie it off correctly. So one of the chickens started coming out, bumped it, and it came down and, and broke its neck. That that kid was horrified when my when my ex wife made her put it, take it out, and start plucking the feathers and put it in the uh, chicken plucker. She about lost her marbles. I mean, we, that's what we were raising these things for, was for food and for eggs. But she did, it didn't, I, it didn't really hit this poor kid that we were actually going to do this at some point. She just happened to kind of make it, have to make the jump early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me, by the way? Yes, sir, I can. Okay. I'm going, I don't have a digital microphone anymore. So anytime I mute myself, I don't know if I'm muted or not. But um, yeah, I've, I've seen Slaughter. And um, it's, it's not really, it's a necessary thing. But again, like, I think more people need to actually like witness it in order to like understand like, you know, your food comes from someplace. And even vegetables too, um, oh, yeah. you know. If you're you're eating only vegetables, like you know, your food has to come from some place. And that's why I say uh, for the argument that you know eating meat is unethical. I mean, eating anything is unethical uh, if you're trying to figure out where exactly you source that that food from. You know what I mean? Because uh, yes, say if you use pesticides, well, you're you're killing other animals to protect your crops. You know, if you use heavy machinery where you're definitely doing some damage to the land and also, you know, smaller animals in the area, you know, if you're using heavy machinery to, to you know, collect your crops, you know, there there's a lot of other small factors. If you're using electricity, um, if the electricity company uses, uh, what is it, wind power, um, those, those blades kill multiple birds a year. So the electricity in your house is also derived from animals being, you know, killed in the process so i mean like it really depends on how you're running your own farm you know what i mean like you have to run your own farm in your backyard a little itty bitty garden no pesticides and you have to hand pick everything <laughs> i mean there's i mean everybody we've gotten to a point where everybody's just used to going down to the store picking it up putting it in a grocery cart and paying for it at the checkout they we have forgotten Exactly what it takes sometimes to make that food happen. Mm hmm. I agree with text, but peaches do come from cans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When I was a kid, most of our peaches came from jars. <laughs> after, about two, after about a day or so of cooking and canning, that's where most of our peaches came from. I don't even remember the last time I had an actual peach. You know what I mean? Like, mm. like an actual, like not, not like an actual like peach from a uh, can or jar, but like an actual whole peach. You know what I mean? I like, had to cut it open, had to peel it. Mm -hmm. Helium peeling, you know, you have to peel it. You just fucking eat it. I mean, we, live, we live close to a um, berry farm that has a peach orchard in it. Now they won't let you pick peaches anymore because people come in and they used to just throw them on the ground if they didn't like them or they take a bite and throw it on the ground. But 
we we can go up there and pick a, get a whole lot of peaches. Get about a bushel of them. Oh, it's good. And it depends on what you want. You can get free stone or non-free stone. I personally like free stone because I don't like having to try to pick all that stuff off the seed. So I do have a few questions for you here. Um, are there any foods that you find that should be unacceptable? Mm, no, not really. No. That might, I mean, I might get a little bit squeamish if I have to eat something like if I just start eating like uh, insects or earthworms. But you know, if you gotta live, you gotta live. So yeah, and you know, what about peach pussy? <laughs> <laughs> President forty six is crazy. Dude. <laughs> hey, he's he's funny. Yeah. If you ain't been to Georgia, you ain't lived. <laughs> nah, I, I love these discussions, man. Because it just, you know, again, like I said, anybody's willing to, you know, able to come in here and just, just, you know, have a discussion, talk. Oh yeah, I mean, I know, I know, basic, I know very little difference what the difference is between vegetarians and vegans. But you know, I would, I would rather be a vegetarian than a vegan. Because I understand vegans have are a lot more strict on their food sources. <laughs> well, I think I think some vegans really do get a bad rap, and they only get a, a bad rap from, like I said, the extremists. You know, the extreme vegans. You know. Yeah, uh, and that goes for any other group too. Even the meat eaters, the guy who's eating like live, you know, raw squirrel in the middle of the uh, town square, like you said. It doesn't make anybody look good. It just makes you look like a nutter. It does. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, it's like I'm willing to hear out anybody, anybody's discussion, anybody's you know point of view. Um, you know, I just particularly think you should be able to eat anything and not really have a big, uh, big fuss about it. I know, like I said, to me, it's you are limiting your resources when you're saying, well, you can eat everything except for, um, you know, this, don't eat that. I think even like uh, Indian culture, uh, where uh, I believe it's Indian culture, where most cows are sacred, uh, they don't eat cow. No, but they eat monkey. Yeah. yeah. Well, Indiana Jones with the Temple of Doom, that wasn't an exaggeration. Mm -mm. It's not. They will eat. Yeah, they eat chilled monkey brains. That's, that's that is a dessert for them. I mean, I would. It's not my favorite thing to think about, but if I gotta live, I gotta live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got. I mean, we. The taboos I think most people have are, is is what stuff that's built up. Over time, in certain cultures, that's what it comes down to. You know, and then when we're, when we're forced to revert to certain situations, like when, like in the Donner Pass situation, where you had people that were committing uh, cannibalism for to survive, nothing's really off the table at that point. Nothing. Even a vegetarian will start eating meat to survive. <laughs> it's just that most of our most of the taboos we have against certain foods are because of the cultures we live in or places that we live in or the the amount of well kind of like the amount the amount of um, our how rich we are how privileged we are not to have to go that not have to go that route yeah I think we're all lucky to be in the, the time that we are in. I mean, I think like you could grow up never having to hunt your own food. Yep. That's, that's that's a lot of privilege right there. A lot of people don't even realize that. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a, kids nowadays are very privileged. 
when I grew up, we we learned how to garden. We learned how to we learned how to process food. My kid wouldn't wouldn't know what to do to with a, with a, to uh, process meat. She wouldn't. She, I don't even think I haven't even taught I haven't even had a chance to teach this kid how to go fishing yet and how and how to cook fish on, over an open fire. I think I think kids need I think that's like all kids need to learn those how to. How to eat? How to make? How to process their own food? So that includes going out and grabbing a little, grabbing a, gra- going out there and grabbing a little bit of worms and chowing down. Do what you got to do. <laughs> I just got the I just got the weirdest look from my kid. She's looking at me like oh. My kids just look at me like I am never eating worms. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. cut out for a minute. My my internet went out just for a second. I'm on wireless. Well, it's going to be that way for a lot a lot of reasons nowadays. There's a lot of uh, a lot of activity. We lost we ours winked out yesterday because of the the rainstorms. Hey, you doing, Rika? Rika, you should join us. Which Rika is that? Volunteerist Rika? Yeah. Love that girl. You should join us, Rika. We're discussing food. Now, I bet you Rika would eat would eat anything as long as it didn't eat her first. I bet you she would eat any kind of meat. And <laughs> Paul's crazy. You don't have to share your camera. You just got to talk. Come on in. I don't say. I don't know why she's worried about camera. She's always been. I've seen her on camera before. She's a, she's a nice young lady. Well, she's always funny. always been kind, and I can respect that. I've only seen her go off on one person, and that was the guy who just really. Was being really nasty to her, and she really just had no she had no choice but to go after him again. You gotta do what he, you gotta do to survive, as we say. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Man, I love her to death. She's the sweetest lady. She's one of the first people I started getting into. I started watching on YouTube. Rika's like a sister to me. If anybody needs to get beat up, just let me know, Rika. I'll, I'll come over there. She's still East Coast, isn't she? I believe she's in the yeah around the New York area. I believe maybe Connecticut. <laughs> you see people people are just switching back and forth nowadays. I mean, you got Pink Camera Magic has moved to Texas. Uh, Denise Lynn has gone back and forth from the east to the west coast. I mean, people are just move, people are just moving all over the country nowadays. Look at uh, James Freeman; he's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're working on pickling habaneros. Are you going to do a video about it so we all know how you how you do this? Learn your secrets. Let me see. I know. Um, what was it? My wife, my wife, uh, for the longest time before we uh, started dating, um, she would never, she would never eat guacamole. Right? She thought it, she thought it was the most disgusting looking thing ever. Right? And she would say, mm-hmm. "Oh, that's disgusting! How could you eat that?" Right? I was like, "Have you ever had guacamole?" You know, I was like, "This," I said, "This shit's fire, dude! Like, it's fucking good. It's great." And uh, she goes, "No, ill. That looks disgusting." I was like, "Why is it disgusting?" She says, "She says, look how it looks." I was like, "Look, promise you, you're gonna try this guacamole. And you're gonna love it, right?" And she oh, yeah. she didn't believe me. 
And I think about like uh, three months have passed since uh, I told her that she's going to try guacamole and she's going to love it. <laughs> right. And uh, we go over to like a, a restaurant and we get some chips and dip. And I say, can you bring me a side of guac? You know, and, you know, I'm sitting there eating up all the all the cheese, all the queso. Right. So that way she has <laughs> to like go and get something else to dip. So I'm eating up all the queso. Actually, you know, there's only like red sauce and and guacamole on the table, right? And she's like, I don't like too much red sauce. I was like, well, try try the guac. Uh -huh. So <laughs> she dips it and she eats it. She's like, oh, this shit's fucking good. This shit's fire. And I was like, yeah, you know, you need to try some more things, you know. Don't hold back. You know, you're limiting your options here. You know, but she tried guacamole and now, like, anytime we go out, Oh, she want to get guac on that. We gotta get guacamole. Mm -hmm. See, my cousins are like that. You know, it drives me crazy too. We're, we're I mean, you got family that'll eat just about anything, and yet you got these three kids who who will not eat anything if it does if it does not come out of a package. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese is the absolute favorite of these three kids, but if it looks weird or or smells weird to them, they will not eat it. I'm like, because, I mean, we go, okay, Christmas time, we have gumbo. You know, we have a big old pot of gumbo. These kids will not touch it. Even though they grew up, even though their mother grew up on it, my mother grew up on it, the rest of us grew up on it, they will not touch it. It looks nasty because they don't like the shellfish. You know what, um, when I was growing up, and it's not really even a food, it's really a plant. Uh, the honeysuckle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Every day, just go out there, look at the the bush in the backyard, pop a few of those off, and just straight up take the honeysuckle every time. And uh, one of my friends said, "Ew, you over here eating, you know, eating grass?" And I was like, "What are you talking about, dude? Have you ever had this?" I was like, it's good, man. And I was like, "This is it's like nature's dessert." I don't know what you're talking about. You're missing yeah. out. You know, and I, I kind of want to like get one growing up in our backyard. That way, like, you know, whenever my kid gets older, she can at least have like something to like, you know, go back there, boop, have that experience. But, um, man, I remember doing that and just enjoying my time. Just me and my buddies in the backyard, pulling up a uh, huckle suckle plants, sitting, chilling in the shade. Well, they, they're not hard to transport. Um, you, if you find any in the wild, you can get you can get a couple of the vines and just and plant them back against the fence line. They will grow like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna have to do that because um, those were those I consider the best plants. You know, something that you can mm -hmm. uh, scavenge from them. But yeah, um, we got. Yeah, we used to do blackberry plants that way too. On uh, side road, just get get a couple of them, and after a while they'll grow because they grow off of runners. They will, they make a huge patch real quick. You know, I saw one of uh, Rika's videos. <clears throat> Rika's videos where she was uh she took some flowers and she was making like a, a essence. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And. Um, Ricky, you said, what were those plants? The violet flowers? I need, I need to see how you can make an essence out of that. I need to go watch your video again. I might start making some essence of uh, of uh, the honeysuckle. Sell it on the black market. <laughs> well, you, you ever walked out around the road and you see dandelions everywhere? Mm-hmm. You can eat that. You can eat those green as greens. Oh, they are they, everything in them is edible. A lot of people don't realize that. I had no idea. Milk and, and Paul, I had a, a trash lid. Is what it is. I have a whole lid over here. <laughs> Was he asking about how much food you still got? Yeah. <laughs> Man, you gotta have 
if you're going to eat a steak, it might as well be a nice, thick, juicy steak. A huge, gorgeous porterhouse steak. Cooked medium well. Mm -mm. You remember that restaurant, You Are Cooks? Let me look that up. I don't remember a lot of older restaurants by uh, name anymore. Well, I don't know if they're still in business, but down in Austin, there used, used to be one place. You just go pick your pick up the steak you want out of the freezer and take it to the, a big, huge middle grill and cook it in the middle of the restaurant. You had this; it had this big grill, probably about the probably about the size of a um, sixteen sixteen by sixteen. Oh, kind of like a kind of like a hibachi. Yeah, you just make you cook your own steak. There's a there's a thing next there's a thing over next to it, a little table full of baked potatoes still in the wrappers. It was great. They had the best steaks. <laughs> well, I eat uh, medium rare. You know, I gotta have that a little little bit of blood in there. You know, in my primal you you. my, my primal instinct. You know. Gotta but no, a <laughs> like uh, there was one place I wanted to go where uh, they cook like food extremely fresh. And when I mean extremely fresh, like there's a thing in Japan or Japan or China. I don't know. I forget. It's called speed cooking. I wouldn't recommend looking it up, you know, but um. They do speed cooking. And I was like, man, I would actually try some of that. But most of that, I'm like, man, it's a little bit much. I kind of want my food to be done, you know, like done and not moving. <laughs> I think I think one thing I've heard of, I will ne I would, I've heard of, it sounds fascinating, but I'll probably never eat it, is uh, pufferfish sushi. Because See, if it's made wrong, you die. Yeah, that's the one thing I've always said myself. I was like, I kind of want to do it, but I really don't want to do it because I'm like, eh, you know, I kind of need to know how many times like the chef has made this and be like, you know, how many times have you made this? It's like, oh, this will be my second time. Nah, I'm good. You know, <laughs> I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Bye, my dude. <laughs> I mean, I was think this way. I mean, these guys, if, they, if they're making it, if they do it wrong, just just by cutting their own a slight cut on their own finger, mm -hmm. they're dead. If if your chef has survived making that pufferfish sushi, chances are you're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. I don't trust him. I need to know how many uh, tours he's been through. I need I need to vet this man. I need to see his resume. I don't know. Have you seen Have you seen some of those? Uh, Videos where snakes have been prepared, you know they're they're skinned, they're gutted, they're ready to go, they're ready to be put up for, to be frozen, mm -hmm. and that sucker's still moving and trying to strike. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of people don't know. Like, if you decapitate a snake, their head can stay alive for I believe they said like up to seventy two hours. Mm -hmm. You know. I believe that's what it was. I forget, but they can stay alive for a long time. The best thing you do is put their head in a in a glass jar if you can do it safely, and you know keep it locked away. And then uh, after you've uh, confirmed that the head is no longer moving and there's no more activity, I mean, you can go to a taxidermy and like, hey, put this uh, you know put this head as a taxidermy, or even put in like a acrylic type of a uh, Resin, you know, I wouldn't do it because I don't really like uh, I don't like dealing with snakes too much. Let me see. Oh, no, we, we won't go into stories about snakes. I could, I can say a couple of stories and a story or two, and I'm they just it just gives me cre creeps just thinking about it now. <laughs> but I mean, I. I've seen I've seen some of the videos. 
and people who have caught snakes, preparing them to get to be eaten, and that car that carcass headless headless will still try will still try to strike like it's got a head. It's oh like yeah. Oh God. Oh, I found it. I found it. It's China. China did it. They have a. I think they might have stopped doing this, or they're still doing it. I don't know. It was only six years ago since this video was posted. But, oh, man. I kind of want to show it just so y'all can see, like, the craziness. I don't is know. That where, is that the snake, or is that where the meat jumps off the plate? <laughs> it. I know there's a snake, um, and I think they got some other animals in here. But I don't want to show it because I'm like, I know I'm probably already demonetized from the last one, which it doesn't matter. I don't get paid much anyway from YouTube. Uh, but also, I was like, you know, do I want to make this into an adult rated, you know, stream? <laughs> do I want to? I could. I could. Uh, I'll let you guys decide. I don't want to go ahead and force you guys to see that. Or if you want to see a Hawkwind, what I do is I can go ahead and uh, three adults here. All right. We're all consenting adults. This is a two minute video. Uh, by the time I say, by the time I say go, <laughs> then it's going to be two minutes from then until this thing is done. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, shit. But would, it, would you eat it? And I was like, probably. All right, go. Out. Go, go, go. Freaky dude. Mm. Oh, that's the freaky part there. <laughs> it looks like still breathing. Mm -hmm. Now, this part right here, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And this is in uh, China. So, I mean, like, there's all these different food standards. This is why I really don't have, like, uh, opposition to eating certain foods. You know what I mean? Like, we can be doing so much worse or better. And this is where I say it gets real graphic. Oh wow, it's still moving. Yeah, it's fully cooked. But they have to make sure it moves. If it doesn't move, they fell. And I was like, oh shit. I still have no idea what the hell these are. Mm. I'm not really. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to rethink really wanting to go to a local Chinese restaurant now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, love I, mean, food, but that, mm. I mean, look, here goes Chef Ramsay in a, a, you know, spider in Cambodia. A trans. What was that? What was that show? Uh, Man versus Food. Life's you ever seen that? I have. I've seen a few episodes. I just haven't seen a lot of uh, episodes recently. So, mm -mm -mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. This steak is delicious. What cut is it? Uh, what she get? She didn't even tell me what she got. I know she cut it in half, and I got the uh, bigger half of it. It took over half my plate. That sounds, that sounds like a that sounds like a porterhouse. I believe so. It's Poor good. Sector actually huge. It's good. It's delicious. I ain't nothing wrong with that. Rika says, "LOL, wiggly food." Rika, come on up in here and talk to us. <laughs> Paul says he was an adder. <laughs> You put down my steak, but I still love you. Please come and talk to us. <laughs> I think she said she was una unable to because she's what pickling uh, habaneros. That's fine. Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Habaneros That's are fine. excellent when they're pickled. That's did all she, fine. The, well, see, I'm wondering, did she cut the seeds out of it so it's just the flesh, or she do, or she do it complete, the flesh and the seed all together? Rika, did you cut out the seeds? I wonder if she's still in. Well, see, most people don't realize it's the seed that's the, that can, that makes it hot. Mm -hmm. it, the, just the flesh don't make don't make a hill of beans. Because once it get once, I mean, yeah, you got some seed juice in there, but once it's pickled, that that tames down real fast. Mm mm mm. I'm but just going to get to the, the spider. I'll go for it. She, oh, she just said, yeah. She just says, yes, I cut the seeds out. Nothing wrong with that. So they fried these. Oh, you're going to eat it. Now, have you ever tried spider? Have I? No, I haven't. I, mean, I had I scorpion. Really I had scorpion and uh, millworm. It actually has meat to it. That's what got me. That's what got me the first time when I tried. It, it has meat inside of it. Hmm. It's not. It's not just. Uh, it's not gooey guts. It's actually meat. Like a husk. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh, my little girl, you she's out here it. screaming, man. She does not like the fact that Gordon Ramsay is eating the spider. <laughs> Mine's just sitting, my little girl, my kids just sitting there staring at me. <laughs> Are they watching this video? <sighs> yeah, because you're on, I'm on a head start, so you can't hear what's being said. She just sees can... some guy with. I'm glad she just sees her hero <laughs> with a spider in mouth. After the legs, Mr. Paul shows mm. me the part of the tarantula that is most highly prized by the true connoisseur, the belly. Oh. Yeah, the belly yeah. Full of something? Yeah. yeah. Full of pus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten some weird things in my time, but I'm really not sure about this. <laughs> yeah, now, after what he's fed some people on Hell's Kitchen, he deserves it. It's uh, bitter. Uh, yeah, it's very bitter. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds like the girl's screaming. I, oh, can guys. I just say, I prefer the legs. <laughs> Weird texture when you're biting into it first off. It's like, mmm, crunchy chicken thigh. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Bite through it and all of a sudden, poof, burst of sweetness. <laughs> then it's the body and it's like a sort bile, sour taste. It's been a long day. After I said my goodbyes, <laughs> I hit the road. As surprising as it was, I don't think I'll be putting tarantula on the menu for the. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm gonna go grab the little girl. She's sitting here crying her bloody eyes out. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna grab her. Um, let me see what I can put on here that seems wholesome. While I'm out. Let me look. 
Should I put on the VASMR? <laughs> Let me find out something that she has. Something that's uh, not so cringy. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one here. Let's do this one. Yeah, this will work. I think after watching the, the fully cooked fish still open, it's, I, think we, I think we're beyond cringe. Don't worry. I, I'm going to walk away for a second so that way, you know, while, while I'm gone, it'll just be uh, this here. But uh, you'll have full mic. I'll be right back. No, that just looks really cool. Mình có dưa hấu. Các bạn đừng quên like, share video để ủng hộ cho mình nhé. Cảm ơn tất cả các bạn. You gotta admit, guys, that is really interesting looking. So, Rika, did you buy your did you buy your um, habaneros by the bushel? Or just buy, or just pick a few up because you wanted to put, add them to a pickling juice. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I was saying the same thing, Paul, until that moment right there. <laughs> mm. I mean, she loves it. She loves that watermelon. Can you hear me? Awesome, girlfriend. Awesome. Yes, sir. We sure can. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I cool. love I love adding habaneros to to uh, when I pickle when I do pickles, or I make a uh, make a like a a, uh, a sweet a sweet syrup. I, have, I I like putting a little bit of heat in the syrup because it may, it adds a kick to it. Yeah, the little one sitting here screaming her eyes out. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember those days. Mine don't scream that much. Mine don't scream anymore, but, well, it depends on whether she wants her allowance or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find that other one I saw of hers that made me go, whoa. Like, literally, the, this doesn't, like, it doesn't shock me anymore But most of the stuff that she eats. But there are some videos where... Uh, People just get like super upset about it. Yeah, I can understand. It's because, uh, you know, most people in the society where, uh, you know, we have markets, they don't see, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people buying dog meat, dogs, cats, um, you know, other things. And we're, we're used to seeing those as pets. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, in some countries, those pets are other people's food. So, <laughs> therefore, you know, you're, you know, if you want to farm, you have to get used to, like, seeing or knowing the fact that, hey, you know, some of these uh, pets are food. Well, in Russia, they eat horse meat. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't... But, 
This I mean, lady had a whole cat. Well, I mean, what Rika's doing now is what everybody used to do. You know, canning their canning their garden vegetables and getting and putting them up for next for the season. You know, what she's doing now is what people used to do: process their own food. You know, That's I tried growing part. my own food in my backyard, and um, Milo, that dude, um, he keeps digging up my my garden. And uh, eating all the seeds out of the dirt. Mm. So we had uh, some bell peppers that started to sprout. And, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, watering them every day. They started to sprout and they're getting, you know, pretty viney. And next thing you know, there's a big hole. There's a big hole where, where my plant was. And there's a dog sitting there trying to uh, hide his face from me. <laughs> so I need to figure out a way because I, I was I was wanting to do it, but then like I'm just like, man, I just can't keep doing this. Like, re- like this is like the third time I've planted, and the third time he's eaten the seeds out of the dirt, and it go it has gotten to the point where now he just goes over to the like. Uh, the garden expecting there to be seeds in there and then there's okay. not and he's just like oh fuck no seeds fuck you know fuck this guy that's what he says well my cousin my aunt used to have that same problem then they came out with those uh, upside down hangers and that solved oh. that problem real quick for her let me see if I can find the dog one Oh Lord! There it is. Do you see that? Yeah, I see that. Oh my gosh, man! When I tell you, like, this is probably one of her videos. And again, like, she used to like do real good on her videos. She used to do real good on her videos, but her channel, I guess, died since then. And I say died, but like, you know, she's getting eight thousand views. You know, let me see. Uh, she probably got probably got that cancel culture thing going too. Well, what I think it is is that uh, her videos are considered controversial. So mm-hmm. her channel, uh, like my channel, has been age restricted. I'm pretty sure, so it doesn't get shared. Um, you know, it doesn't you know get as much uh, publicity as most. And, you know, there's not much you can do about it. There's not much. You can just say, oh, well, I guess my channel's fucking dead because, you know, you two made it that way. Verizon knows how to build unlimited. But here's some more cringe for you guys. Well, that's not really all that far from the truth. I mean, look what they did with Stephen Crowder. Yeah. They, 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 they don't. What? They want to make it so bad. Uh, as I said, guys, some people's pets are someone else's food. Had a dog on on a bed of greens. Mm-hmm. Actually, you Who know, I'm, gonna, hungry? I'm not gonna make y'all hear it. I'm just gonna let y'all see it. <laughs> I think I think letting y'all hear it is a little bit much. No, my I think, ass. I think Paul's getting hungry. Paul, you hungry? <laughs> now, the thing is, is that is that boxer breed, or is that a no terrier? Idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. But like this this is, you know, normal in certain countries. I just don't see the reason to, of us limiting our food or uh I, I think the main thing is that we we go off of uh a lot of people are going off of emotions whenever they go off like why you shouldn't eat certain food, you know what I mean? But 
<laughs> if you if you run into the wrong person with this conversation, you're like, hey, this food is food. You know, you're gonna do what the fuck you need to survive. You know, fuck it. You know, food is food. And uh, Piru will fucking do it. Piru is just gonna fucking eat a fucking dog head in front of you. I think I think the main thing we should do is uh, not give a fuck about what people eat. All right, get off of my screen. What is this? Move, buddy. Now it doesn't want to go over. And down, down in South America, they eat capybaras. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen those um, being eaten. Now, I kind of wonder, is that, is that like a honey glaze or is that some kind of fruit? This? Or what's on them? Uh-huh. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Grilled dog head, extremely crispy and delicious. Eating sounds, no talking. I'm not. Again, I'm not gonna play the sounds for you guys. I think Cena is enough. Uh, grilled dog head, crispy and delicious. What do the comments? Yeah, this dog head, little goat here. Gives a new take on the word hot dog. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, you're a sick, sick man. <laughs> don't make don't make Rika come look for you. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean that's, I love when I love when people come up with good funny stuff like that. That's just too hilarious. Mm-mm. Let's see that right here. If y'all think this is nasty, y'all shouldn't be eating meat at all. But is it okay doggy. to really think it's nasty? I mean, like, well, that's kind of like lame. It's kind of gatekeeping, don't you think? <laughs> 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 I mean, it's gatekeeping like a hell, you know. I love, I love when people just like agree, you know, just because facts. Yeah. Angry <laughs> vegan. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That'd be me. Shut up. <laughs> oh man. No, I don't think you can cook leather. I don't think you re cook leather, Paul. If anything, they probably just used the lead to hold it in place over the flame. <laughs> No, there's something wrong with me. Thank you, Paul. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, we got at some point, when some comes down to it, we're going to have to get past the cultural bias about food. No way around it. Yeah. I think think the main thing is, I think people need to stop worrying about what others put in their body, to be honest. You know what I mean? Um, the main thing I can say is if you are vegetarian or vegan and you have an issue with somebody else eating meat, then you should uh, always research where your food is coming from and how it's harvested. Oh, yeah. Because, again, like I said, in my eyes, in my opinion, this is a fact. If you're going to have an issue with the way I eat, you know, steak, chicken, you know, anything else. Um, and you're saying, well, you know, meat is murder. And I was like, well, do you know how they harvested your vegetables? Did you buy from a local store or did you buy it? You know, you know, did you pick it yourself? Where did you get these vegetables from? You know, do you think that this stuff just magically appeared into the market and, you know, you showing up that suit? <laughs> well, see, I think of it this way. <laughs> If you can if you if you get squeamish about field dressing a deer, leave the hamburger in the, at Walmart alone. Cause they do the same thing to that cow. They hang it up by its hindquarters, they they bleed it out. The next next thing you know, they're cutting they're cutting the skin off of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you've never if you've never field dressed a deer, then you should never be you should not even think about eating a steak. Because if you don't know how your food is processed, 
you know, you can't really get upset when people were eating it. Yeah. I say if you are getting upset, I, I agree with that. If you're getting upset with somebody, you know, the way how they're eating food and you never done, you know, certain things. And, you know, I, I do agree with that in some points. But like I said, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be a gatekeeper. Yeah. But definitely, I, I do agree that, you know, most people should just chill out. Go try something new. Eat some food. You know, have a good time. Have you had menudo? Uh, yeah, I had menudo. I don't even know. Like, I don't know what it's made out of. But it's I had. Out, it's made out. Of, it's regular soup and it's got tripe in it. Do you know what oh, tripe okay. is? Yeah, it's like um, <laughs> what is it? Okay, I know what tripe is, but um, it looks like a weird gelatinous looking thing. That's how it looks like when you go to the store. You go ahead and see them in a little package with a little, uh, kind of like a beehive. But uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. basically, it's cow stomach. Yeah. If anybody talks about eating weird food, don't eat hot dogs. Don't eat chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh God, I don't. That was nasty. I saw that. That was good. I, it took me a while to eat chicken nuggets again after that. Nowadays, I just go get my chicken, my chicken strips from from Chicken Express, and I'm happy. Look at that good old tripe. <laughs> I'll put it all on here. I don't care. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn today. Oh, we ain't, we ain't biased against food. We all eat it. Mm-mm-mm. Clean, um, but for some others, um, you have to actually clean Look it yourself. That. So I'm going to be showing you how to Ooh. thoroughly clean your shaki and ensure that um, all the dirt and um, all the debris is actually removed from the shaki. Oh, the shaki. Before I go ahead, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly do so now by clicking on the subscribe button below. Oh, never subscribe. You can also click on the bell sign. <laughs> Sometimes what I do on uh, people's channels who say like and subscribe, I just leave a comment saying, I'm not going to subscribe. So that way you always have to address me every time you end your video. And then I just go to the next. What is that? That's tripe. Look at that cleaning. Oh, come on, Paul. No one can live without meat. Meat's too good. <laughs> I don't know where he's getting this free meat from, but... <laughs> That's a heck of a lot of stuff to scrape off. Mm -hmm. Get the stubborn dirt. <laughs> Oh man, you know what? My buddy, he's always sharing like a whole bunch of crazy shit on Facebook. And he shared a video from like, uh, what was it, the Philippines? And they just had a whole cow's vagina that they were cooking up. And I was like, what the fuck, my dude? But I was like, you know what? You can't even be mad at it, you know? Because that's, again, like I said, that's their culture. That's what they have to do. That's what they have to eat. And he's like, are you gonna, are you gonna knock, you know, their food? Unless you know they're eating pussy. 
Oh, oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Bueno. <laughs> More bueno. <laughs> oh my good god, what is that? Demonetize. <laughs> oh my god, that is <laughs> Son, turn away. <laughs> a bit softer than usual. <laughs> so much more perfect. Okay, that looks wrong. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, they look so wrong with doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave that there. You know, Rick is like, what the hell? <laughs> Came in at the wrong moment. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty repetitive. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it to where, let's see, right about here. Exactly. Still cleaning. This is a 14 minute video so far. Watch of them that. cleaning fucking cow pussy. <laughs> I think after this I'm gonna play us out. I'm gonna give us a nice little song after this. So that way we're we're oh, for sure demonetized and they say, Oh, you know what? You really can't oh what is that? <laughs> what is that? I need to get I'm gonna get this link because I'm gonna post this in Discord. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it's bite <blank>, pussy. <laughs> oh. With some chilies. I am so Habaneros. Rika, we need some. Wop, wop. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong, so many levels. What's wrong with us? Oh, now it's all nice and puffy. Oh, Jim, it didn't sound right. Hey, yo. Just cut that toy. Certainly come out pretty, pretty, pretty solid, didn't it? Okay, Rika has confirmed those are not kite, those are no. not habaneros. Large and it's so hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top. I wanna ride. I do a kick. Run inside. Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. The sea is wet. Come take a dive. Sign me up like I'm surprised. That's us roll it. I want these guys. I want you to park that big Mac truck right in this little garage. Make it cream. Make me scream. I don't public. Make a scene. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you, I got you go. train. Gobble me. Swallow me. Drip down the side of me. Quit. Jump out for you. Let it get inside of me. I tell them where to put it. Never tell them where I'm about to be. I'll burn down on them before I have a nigga running me. Damn, I got my head going and everything now. Let's go a call while you ride that dick. You really ain't never got him fucking for a thing. He already made his mind up for a change. Now get your boots, 
hang your coat on this wet ass pussy. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy. Pay my tuition just to keep me from this wet ass. <laughs> oh, God have mercy. You know, people probably, probably wonder what in the hell. <laughs> I'm going to post that to Discord. You watch me. It's going to be all over the internet. Forces in this house. Here's some lyrics. You ready? I am our key. Forces in this house. There's some horses in this house. There's some horses in this house. There's some in this house. I said certified freak. Seven days a week. Wet ass keyword. Make that full out game week. Yeah. 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 Oh, God, yeah. have mercy. With some wet ass keyword, bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass keyword. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass keyword. Yeah. Beat it up and catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this keyword right in your face. Do I like a credit card? Do I even need to pay it? I want to fly. That used to be stressy. <laughs> They're still talking about Salty Rant. Oh, my God. Please turn that off. <laughs> We're done. We're done. I have to actually go ahead and be done with this right now. So I should play this out. <sighs> oh, no, it wasn't that was bothering me. I'm sitting here, I was sitting here <laughs> looking at my notifications, and it's, everybody is talking about Lou. I'm like, hello. If the dude is in a car accident, okay. If he's not and he's BSing it, okay. But is it really a conversation worth having for days on end? No. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So who should we uh, listen to? Who should we listen to? That's a good call. Ain't no one got. Ain't no one got no. Con ain't got no one got no suggestions. Right. Of bucks more there. than the country of meat. Put your willy <laughs> away and listen to me. Man, this is it. This is what they've been waiting for, baby. This is what they've been waiting for. They've been waiting for the dogs. I'm pause that, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it from here. I know we've uh, looked at a lot of weird meats today. <laughs> 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 but you know I had a good time it was decent it was funny um, I think next stream I'll do I might uh, play a little bit of Among Us uh, for those of y'all who might want to play um, let me see if I can pull that up here Among Us alright it's probably one of the cheapest non uh, you know demanding games out there so again if you guys want to get it it's five bucks on steam right now there are sales that happen where it's uh drops it down to two bucks but it's pretty fun we might enjoy it play a little bit of this let y'all see a little trailer
So for those of y'all who aren't understand what's going on here, um, you can play a game with multiple people here. I think up to 10. And uh, there will be some imposters based on how many people are actually in the game. I think one to two. And your job is to complete task while the imposter is there to kill you. Uh, of course, there's like a cooldown, right? But mics are turned off and no one knows who the killer is, you know, unless, of course, they get caught. So, again, this game is non-demanding for your PC if you have one. So uh, four ninety nine, five bucks. Here are your PC requirements for it, minimum. And this is on Steam if you want to get it. And uh, Hawkwind, before I uh, play the music, is there anything else you wanted to say before we uh, head out? I just have a whole new appreciation about all the meat you can get now. <laughs> hey, you know, if you go to Vietnam, you can go ahead and get you some big pussy there. You know, you're going with me. <laughs> <laughs> some of that wop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and turn myself down. But um, yeah, guys, thank you for joining. As I say all the time. I don't accept donations, but if you do want to go ahead and do a nice, good favor, that's one thing I forgot to tell you guys. That's one thing I forgot to tell you guys. Guys, guys, I did some research, right? On all my other channels, my 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 YouTube, my uh, Twitch channel, uh, my Facebook, we managed, all of us, it's not a big amount to some, but it's a big amount to me. We managed to raise up to 350 bucks in total to charities. So therefore I do really want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for the ones who've gone out there and donated. Awesome. Uh, I appreciate it. It's awesome. You know, and that makes me feel so much better just jumping on here, shooting the shit with everybody, even though we know we're not monetized, getting monetized on this video for showing some WAP on here. <laughs> but um, definitely that we do have money going out somewhere else. You know what I mean? So to the people who actually need it. And as I always say, please, if you do have the time, if you do have the funds available, if you do want to do something good for me, that would be to go to thorn.org and leave a donation there for them. All right. So again, I want to thank you all for leaving those donations, you know, and again, 350 bucks may be small for a year worth of like streaming, but again, that's a lot to me. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this song. I do appreciate you all. Uh, guys, go to Vietnam. Get you some WAP. <laughs> this is it. I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later. This is what they've been waiting for, baby. This is what they've been waiting for. They've been waiting for the dog to scratch. They've been waiting for the dog to scratch. Uh, already got Grand Champ status. How do you feel about this? All I see is red, blood, red. Fuck that nigga said, what up, dead? Gun to the head, then run, but it's dead. Wash my hands and face, these bloods shed. Never had it all, I was born to mention. Fuck apologizing, if I said it, I meant it. If I don't like you, fuck you, never pretended. Crash blew up and burned, that's how it ends. Come on, urban legend, I heard it mentioned. Dog is right at home in the dirt and trenches. My birth intentions, the first to sentence. The flight without parole for the worst offense. Senseless slaughters, kick open the door and everybody gotta die. Why the sons and daughters? The orders were clear from the start. First, turn off the light to murder whatever moves in the dark. Never. First a curse, turn into a blessing. We're burned as it was burned, turn into a weapon. Built the wall, bitch ass nigga, that shit that I'm a spitter, get you killed through the door. Found them on the floor, the fetal position, there is no awe. Came here with me.
leave him in chances. Thought shit was funny, like shit you were saying was ill. Do you make that left turn? And shit got real. When it come to rap, you cats got it all wrong. Got bars for days, but can't make a song. If you didn't have what you said when you was flapping your jaw, push them bricks. Fuck is you rapping for? Yeah, like. Yeah.